Right, yes, hopes floating rotors are on, bike's working fine, there's enough gap and the speed sensor's not touching the speed disc. I've, uh, I'm not a quitter, so I don't throw my towel in until uh, I've, I've, I've come with, it, with a solution. Um, and here's the solution and I'll explain, I'll explain it to you how I've done this, okay? So let's lock this chain, uh, the, uh, the de derailleur in place so I can take the wheel off and explain to you very quickly um, how this was done. 11 Newton meters, people have seen over tightening these, you know. So this is well greased, nice and clean, okay? So let's take the wheel off and I'll keep this very short and simple. Okay, so the wheel's off and you can see quite clearly the uh, hope disc is on and the, uh, the speed speed uh, sensor disc is also on, on on the face of that. Okay, anyway, right, what's going on here? First thing first, I'll... hope disc has a little indent like a groove where the screw sits in flush, okay, on, on, on the face of this disc, right? So what happens is that when you put this disc on and you start talking them up to five Newton meters, this disc actually pushes up because it's getting pressed in here. So to overcome this, what I have had to do is find washers that'll fit into this uh, gap on, on the actual rotor itself, hopes rotor, um, and I've had to drill a five mil hole in those washers so, so that these screws can go in without any problem. Once I've done that, I've put those, you know, washers in place and, and put these screws and tightened them up to five Newton meters. And that is it. That is not coming away. It's flush fitted. Uh, this, this is actually slightly concave outwards, this whole disc. So when you torque these up, it's pressing on the edges, it's pressing down. And I'm expecting some damages, scratches around this area over the, over the time. Um, that's what's likely to happen, but I'm not bothered because that, that's not coming up until it's, it's due for replacement. So this is how I've resolved this bit of it, okay. In terms of sticking on the frame, the difficult part was that, uh, as you can just lower this so you can see a little bit more better, the, the disc, sorry, the uh, speed sensor was actually touching the outer edges of the disc, uh, the speed sensor disc, so I'm on about these these little uh, groove or whatever you want to call it basically that's that sticking out and it's, it was catching it was going ding 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 so there's a little adjuster here there as you can see absolutely nuisance and I don't, I don't know how you know, people okay let's not moan about this there's a little adjuster here that you can use an allen key uh, to move this in and out, but unfortunately that hasn't resolved the issue. Um, so how have I overcome this problem? I've even tried shimming this very, very little, and I mean probably less than, I'd say about point and not 0.5 mil, so less than half a mil, because obviously there's a magnetic mumbo jumbo ele electronic contacts here. Uh, I'd like to call it mumbo jumbo. Um, and that, that then senses the, the, the rotation of the speed wheel, uh, its speed sensor wheel, and, and it sends a signal back to the actual um, ECU or the electronic uh, board in the motor to say that uh, this is the specific uh, speed it's running at. And uh, obviously this also measures the cutout at 15 miles per hour, uh, after 15 miles per hour. So um, the issue was that uh, I've had to, the, when you take the knot off for the frame, the frame expands, it goes outward a little bit. So it moves out a little bit, okay. Some frame do, other frames I've come across in by, by itself uh, don't. So this moves out a little bit. Um, now, to get that one mil gap, although that I'm not prepared to shim this any further than what I have done, and this was adjusted all the way back and it still didn't do the trick. So what I've had to come across with is a little idea, okay? So see this washer? This washer fits in. There's already one in there. I'm, I'm sure you can see it. There, there's already one in there. This is at slightly thinner than this, okay? So look for something less than a millimeter, you know, the thinner the better so that the bike, 
bike's uh, wheel stud or, or, or the, the, the thing can rest on the lip. That's the whole idea of this, having this, although that, that'll maintain and keep, keep everything intact, the, the actual shaft. So, but by doing that, what happens is as I press and tighten the uh, wheel back into its place, it's, the speed sensor no longer catching it. So this is, this is, this is why now I've got a perfect install. Um, this goes in just, just like that. Look, this is exactly the same size as that. Uh, but sadly, this was slightly thicker. You want something about 0.75 mil thick, something like that, 0.80. That, that extra bit does make a difference. So, so ideally you want it as thin as possible um, so that the, as I've repeated, that the bikes uh, stuck uh, this bit, whatever you want to call it, this bit is resting it within. So there we have it. It was done through that process. Sadly, there was no full video of doing this as I was doing it. So let me sort of put the wheel back on, back in place. Uh, extend this. Okay, and let's go for it. Nice and gently, the wheel slides in. All right, I don't have to push the wheel, you know, thing out this, out that, out right. Okay, so let's put the shaft back in its place. Nice and gently, 11 Newton meters, not over tighted in it. I would say that's about 11 Newton meters. Okay, let's release the derailleur. Give it a nice spin and happy days. All right, so that's how I've installed the whole rotors on the back. I have seen some bikes with the ones at the front, but nothing at the back. The standard rotor, uh, which is this. And I did upload a video probably about a week ago saying no, uh, it's not possible. Uh, the good news is that it is possible for, for, for um, people who've got high bike flying. This is the original uh, rotor that I'll keep it as a spare in case that I need to replace them and I can't get hold of these because Hope will not sell these to direct customers. You'll, you'll have to go through those uh, agents with bike shops that they deal with. We, I've had a chat with them and they've given me good enough reasons. You know, those bike shop have taken them to where they are. So it's, 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 a, it's an incentive for the bike shops. So this is the reason why they deal with the bike shops and not, not end users like myself. I, I respect that, no problem. So I think uh, I think uh, this is uh, this is a uh, kind of a win 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 situation. So let's uh, that's it really, guys. Hope this video helped you guys out. And if you got any questions or anything, just uh, leave them on the comment below, and uh, I'll, I'll do my best to uh, uh, help you out. Anyway, take care, peace, and have a great weekend. Bye for now.